this is actually a part of a caster that I bought at Home Depot or I think it was Lowe's don't quite remember but I removed the wheel and I bolted two pieces of aluminum uh, flat irons on the bottom where I drilled a 38 hole with a standard 38 tread which fits the most tripod heads and um, <coughs> And I bolted two pieces of um, one piece of aluminum flat iron on one side, and this is just a bracket that I bought at Home Depot. It already had some holes, some I had to make larger, and this gives me an arm so I can attach my uh, monitor. This is what I use for monitoring. This is a this is a screen that comes with a two-screen portable DVD player. Um, this is a screen that doesn't have the DVD player onto it. So I use this for the monitor. I kind of rigged up something that I use a bracket that I bought from Home Depot, bolted it onto the back. I had to pull the back off, um, drill the holes in it, and put the bolts from inside so I can um, bolt it on. And this part bolts on to the, to the arm right here. For the actual jib arm, I use uh, this is an inch and a half EMT tubing. It's actually electrical conduit. You can buy this at Home Depot Lowe's or just about any electrical supply stores. And this is what I use to put the weights for counterbalance. These are standard couplers for this size EMT, which I bought at the same place where I bought the EMT conduit. And as you can see, it has the holes, the, the, the screws. The holes are pre-drilled, it comes with the screws and everything. So what I did was I drilled the hole, holes into the conduit, so this can be screwed in. Um, so what I did was I used a smaller piece of conduit, this is a hinge and a quarter EMT conduit. I cut this. And then um, I drill bigger holes, which I use, uh, right now I'm using 5.8 bolts, so I can bolt it down onto it, and that's what gives it the firmness. The same thing that goes on here goes on on the other end, but I keep this bolted into this one, so I can just fit the other part over here. So this is actually four feet tall, this piece right here, from here, here. Now what I did with this, um, I realized that at 18 feet, even though this is fairly solid and it's very heavy but it, it cannot support itself in that it gets it gets a lot of wobble in there because it starts to bend and all that so I put these in there as a base for for rods which I use to which I use to uh, which I use with wires to support the extra weight These rods just slide on to here like this. Uh, once I run the, the wire through these um, hooks and I hook them up, um, I, can, I can tighten by way of turning this. This is a nut, I forgot what you call it. You can turn it all the way up so you can tighten the tension on the wire to make it just firm enough. Now I use four pieces of four feet length as I showed you. Uh, this piece is actually two feet because when you buy one piece it's actually ten feet so when you cut it in two when you get two four feet pieces you get you have a two foot piece left. So this is the part where I attach the head. I use this as the very last part in hand regardless of the, the length. Now this is a head I made for a fixed position so it gives you a constant ang angle with the camera so I Put this on there and I use a cable for the auto, auto leveling. I can bolt a tripod head onto here and then attach the camera onto that and just set it one way and then you know you have a constant angle.
you could also control the, the camera from the head you know like if you want to get dolly style shots and you want to actually have hands-on control of your camera and for this if you actually buy a say a motorized pan and tilt head then you could always mount it to this because this can be mounted this way or that way now this is the pan and tilt head but uh, a lot of people think it's motorized but it's not I guess because of this piece of rubber but all this was was like a, a spacer and this is the the control this is the handle for hopping down and side to side movement now it's out of shape I'm gonna have to get it back together because I said I had it thrown down in the corner for a while so what I used for the actual connection between the, the handle and the head I bought these cable housings. I, I ordered them through a bike store. Um, it came in, I think it's a 100 foot length, or something like that. So I just cut it to the length that I want. And then I got these, the actual cable, or the inner wires. I bought these at Home Depot. Well, actually, these one I ordered online from MacMasterCar.com. Um, they're a little bit smaller than the ones they have in Home Depot, so they slide sm more smoothly inside the housings and that's what connects from this to the head that gives it the up and down movement and i use the same same arrangement for the side to side movement and these are wheels that i bought at home depot it's, a, it's like for in the clothesline section and i removed there's a black thing on there that i guess you'd normally mount when you're putting up your clothesline or whatever you're using it for remove that and i sort of bolted this in place and i use this this clamp here that I also bought in the electrical section at Home Depot, I use this to clamp it to the to the jib arm, and I use two of them. And this is used for the side to side movements. Um, these little things, forgot what you call them. I bought these in the bike store as well. What these do? It allows you to, like when I drill my holes here, for the cables to pass through, you can actually. Um, screw these in here and what it would do it, it creates a stop for the cable housing and just the cable can go smoothly in and out and the same thing up here now I had to have this go up in here like this because when you turn side to side and if it's like that when you turn side to side you know so and I'll show you all that in a minute but this is another wheel this one I got in the where they have like the garage door fixtures and stuff this is what that um, this is what this is where I got this wheel and I bolted it onto here and this is bolted onto here um, this is a lank control that I got from a whole tripod a whole Sony tripod that I paid like 99 bucks for like six seven years ago maybe more um, I removed it from the tripod handle it came affixed to it and it had a short cable so I kind of lengthened it make it the full length of the jib arm and I just kind of ran a, a long bolt through here so I can um, with this clamp so I can clamp it onto the, the crossbar same one that I've I put the weights on for counterbalance 